So, the Braves, they made the first big move of free agency signing Will Smith, formerly of the Giants. They got that lefty arm. They got a reliever that is going to be consistent for them, that ninth inning guy. I think it's a three-year deal, $40 million, plus a fourth-year option, I think it is. I think that. The numbers might be a little skewed, but I know it's a three-year deal for sure with an option after that. But I think it's a great move for the Braves. It strengthens that pitching that has been kind of weak for them. I know they've had some really good pitchers, but I also know that... It's been a little shaky for the most part. And if they can strengthen that pitching, they can really make it a consistent pitching staff. I think this team's this team is set for the future. So with that being said, if you guys enjoyed today's video and you want to see some more rebuilds, hit the thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and enjoy the content. Also in the comment section, let me know future rebuilds you would like to see. If you missed yesterday's video, it's going to be on screen now and in the top right hand corner. It was the speed rebuild, not a speed rebuild, but the speed rebuild. We used the fastest players in the MLB. And we tried to see if we could win a World Series with them. So go check it out. So today, how this is going to work is we're going to skip the 2019 season. We're going to hop right into the offseason. And um, let's get into it. How I made Will Smith on the Braves was I just switched him in the, the roster options. Like I just moved him from the Giants to the Braves. And then I added him and gave him a four-year deal so that he would have 2019 and then the three years after that. So let's hop into this. Let's look at this roster and let's head into the offseason. The roster that I'm using is right above me. You have to search in the roster vault under the username category, writing rosters. Other than that, that's what you should be doing. It's the most recent one that he's uploaded it to the roster vault. So let's get into it. Let's talk about this. Um, so as you guys can see, um, I'm pretty sure I got everything how it needs to be. Will Smith is right here. Should have a four-year deal. Yeah, so it was about a four-year deal. It, it works out, right? So this is the team. Let's get to the end of the season. Let's talk about what changes I want to make, and then we'll hop into the, you know, the good stuff, the signings, the trades. All right, let's take a look at this roster really quick because I want to get an idea of who I want to keep, who I want to get rid of. So we have Soroka, Keiko, Freed, Fultonavich, and Tehran. I know Tehran is actually a free agent in, or he's a free agent now. I was going to say he's almost a free agency now. I know he's a free agent now in real life. Um, he's not a terrible pitcher for like a four or five in a sim. So we might bring him back. I know we have Tuki Toussaint, Kyle Wright, Ian Anderson as well. Fultonavich in real life just can't get it together. And in franchise doesn't really do the same. So we might try to move him. Max Reed, probably keep him around, let him develop. We got Keikel, wasn't terrible. Maybe bring him back for one more year. And then we have Soroka, who's looking like he's going to be our ace. Bullpen options, Darren O'Day is going to decrease very, very quickly. I'm going to let him walk, even though he had a great year. Shane Green, probably going to let him walk. Luke Jackson, we'll keep him around for another season. Swarzak's decreasing very quickly. So I might not bring him back. And then we got a couple other options. We got Minter. We got Newcomb. So we'll, we'll see what we can do. And then we have Will Smith and Melanson. Both, we're going to keep them around. Obviously, Will Smith is the new addition. We got to make sure we keep him around. Cervelli's not coming back. We got Tyler Flowers, who I know in real life was just brought back. And then Brian McCann retired. So probably a new catcher might be in the mix. Maybe Yasmani Grandal. First base, Freddie Freeman set. Second base, Albie is set. Third base, I'm probably going to bring back Josh Donaldson for one more season. But after that, we're going to let Johan Camargo take over. We have Dansby Swanson, who's a great option at short. Austin Riley, if in real life he can figure out that that offense, can stay consistent with the bat, I think he's going to be a great addition to this young Braves team. But then, you know, you got Acuna, you got Inciarte, you got like the fountain of youth, Marcakis. I don't understand how this guy like never misses a game and he's super consistent all the time. But um, I feel like he's really underrated. So Marcakis, we got Ciarte, we got Acuna, not Billy Hamilton. And we also have Drew Waters and Christian Pache. So the team is kind of set. Um, some aging guys that I feel like we could let walk, but I definitely think most of these guys will be brought back. So let's head into the offseason, see what happens. Um, the Astros defeat the Cubs. Okay. I wondered if they, uh, they stole some signals for that series. But Brian McCann, he retired. Kind of real life situation there. So like I said, I wanted to bring back Josh Donaldson for at least a year. I don't know if I want to spend, a, if he'll take 11, I'll give him that one year deal. If not, we can probably find somebody else or just let Johan Camargo take over and use that money somewhere else. Dallas Keuchel for another year, I'm okay with. Just one year is not going to be terrible. Darren O'Day, we're going to let walk. Swarzak, like his stats are good, but I feel like he's going to fall off very quickly. 
And then I said Marcakis for one more season as well. We'll bump that down. And I think we're going to let the... Oh, Tyler Flowers. We need to bring back Tyler Flowers, at least for a season, just in case we can't get another catch-up. Catch-up. Another catcher. What is wrong with me today? Catch-up? Whoa. Um, but we're going to leave it there. And we're going to see what we can do in free agency. So arbitration. I, I'm not sold on Shane Green. I feel like we just let him walk. Um, and then offer the rest of the guys arbitration. I want to do this off camera, not Duvall. Just, I feel like we can use the money somewhere else, man. I don't know if any of these guys are going to get arbitration, but then contracts will probably offer everybody a contract heading into free agency. Maybe we get a mad bum. I feel like he's really going to strengthen that team. Um, Keiko did come back. So, you know, maybe, maybe get an Addison Reed for a season. And just hope we get a really good free agency class next year. Grandal is an option. We got. We don't need a first base. We don't need second base. Third base, he didn't take that deal. So maybe a Mike Moustakis. Rendon would be great, but I feel like we can use the money somewhere else. I really want to focus on that pitching. And that's why I'm kind of hesitant to put big money in position players. So maybe like a Moustakis, if Josh Donaldson doesn't want to take the deal. And then just focus on pitching so that might be the the moves that might be the idea let's head into the, the actual first season all right the actual first season's looking good i like the team we've put together let's take a look at it so free agency went pretty well i wasn't able to bring back josh donaldson he decided to take a two-year deal somewhere else instead of a one-year deal so um max freed didn't take the original deal i wanted him to sign i think it was actually more money which is weird so I had to sign him in free agency and then we picked up Grandal on a five-year deal I know it's a bit hectic but you know what it's cool Marcelo Zuna and you're probably thinking well you have Austin Riley well Austin Riley can play third base and since Josh Donaldson didn't want to come back I think we got a good pickup so two big splashes in free agency pitching I decided not to go for mad bum or anything like that I'm gonna let this staff hold its own for one more year Ian Anderson I'm probably not gonna use i'm probably gonna send him down i'm probably gonna bring up aj minter i think that's gonna be the move and then when you look at you look at our squad it's looking pretty good outfield is looking a little weak on the depth um Inciarte is probably gonna play right field maybe move in i moved Inciarte to left field but i might move him to right field now and start him over marcakis and just kind of rock like this i mean the team looks really good like scary good um I don't see why we wouldn't have like we would need to make too many more changes i think really the only changes would be to add some like strength to this bullpen and maybe maybe like a, a really good pitcher to have that really strong one two but other than that i'm liking what we're doing so let me let me send bring up minter because just having that extra lefty in the bullpen will be nice and then we'll send down ian anderson to triple a and it looks like triple a needs some players i'll take care of that off camera but this is going to be the team I like it. It looks really good. Um, we're going to have to find a new setup guy because Melanson's contract ends at the end of this year. Swarzak is a one-year deal. I think Chris Martins is over at this year too. I don't think we'll bring him back. Um, it's looking like the main focus going forward is going to be bullpen. And I know I mentioned that already, but I really think it's going to be because a lot of these guys' contracts are either starting to hit arbitration and I don't want to bring them back or they expire and I don't really want to bring them back. And then for this, I think we got some really good starters in Soroka, maybe Freed, maybe Tehran, even if he develops a little bit more. But um, this is this is where the damage is going to be done. And I'm liking I'm liking what I'm seeing. Like, it's it's really good. I might even bring Ozzy Albies up um, and kind of rock like this. I mean, the team looks good. I'm liking it. And then we'll just kind of let Marquecas drop a little bit lower into the lineup and go like this. Yeah, I'm thinking this is the, the way to go. And who? That's a good offensive lineup. Let's see how season two plays out, or actually season one with this Atlanta Braves squad. All right, so the season has come to a close and it was actually pretty solid. 98 and 64, won the division, taking on the Cubs in the divisional series. So we got a, a, an okay draw. Um, the Cubs are a pretty tough team, obviously, but um, league leader for saves, Will Smith, paying dividends already. And then um, let's take a look at the awards. Probably delivery man of the year, no really just a couple gold gloves travis shaw mvp really interesting so let's take a look at 
the reliever of the year. Kenley Jansen had 53 saves and a 229 um era so okay pretty solid so we're ranked third in baseball second contact 13th power 17th speed seventh in defense and ninth in pitching pretty solid eight game lead in the division so pretty good i'm liking what i'm seeing so soroka pretty good season 330 okay 1.3 whip a little high but i'll take that for sure keichel solid freed solid fultonavich not too great and tehran you know solid um fultonavich probably a player i'm gonna look to trade um, or just let walk in for agency actually sean newcomb oh man what is going on with you just not great luke jackson not great swarzak was pretty good chris martin struggled a bit yeah these uh the bullpen really let us down melanson was solid as our setup guy and will smith was amazing i don't know how he didn't win reliever of the year with stats like that but whatever you know i guess that's just how things go sometimes our bench Charlie Culberson was our bench, our best bench bat. And then when you look at the rest of the team, Inciarte wasn't great as a leadoff hitter, which is disappointing. Um, you know, Ozzy Albee is only 264, really. You know, doubles were up. That's good. Home runs 20, about. So it's not a terrible season, but I, I want to see better out of Ozzy. Uh, Freddie Freeman, great year. Um, we have him for one more season after this. I'll probably try to keep him throughout the entire rebuild. We got Ronald Acuna Jr., who's just... He's going to be a beast no matter what. So we got him. Our Ozuna didn't do great. 260 average. Actually, 26 home runs. Okay, more than last year. More RBIs than last year. Doubles did go down. Strikeouts did go up. But you know what? Not not terrible. Not great, but not terrible. Uh, Grandal, 22 home runs, 66 RBIs. Definitely want to see that average go up a little bit. But overall, pretty happy with it. Austin Riley's developing, which I want to see. So it's looking like our team just hits around 260 which is disappointing to see, but um, you know what? I think we're gonna only get better. We're still a fairly young team. You know, when you think about Acuna, you think about Albies, we have Swanson, we got Austin Riley in there. So we got a pretty young team. Let's see how the playoffs go. So we got the Cubs now and um, facing elimination. You know what, because it's the first season, I'll just sim it and see how it goes. We did get eliminated. The next two seasons, if we do face elimination, what I'll do is I'll, I'll actually play or quick manage like I normally do. But since this is the first year, let's just keep moving forward and see what happens. Um, some guy retired, which we weren't ever gonna use anyways. So exclusive negotiations. <sighs> I think this year and next year are good free agency classes for pitching. So let's just go one year deal for Keuchel. I want to bring back Melanson. I do, but I feel like he's going to just tank in rating. So I'm going to let him walk. Tehran as a five. You know what? Crazy. And I know in real life he's been meh. Let's give him a one-year deal. Let's see what he says. See how he does. If it goes well, let's bring him back. And then um, let's just let the rest walk. Uh, I guess we can let Flowers stick around for another year. Why not? So that's the team for exclusive negotiations. Let's keep moving forward see what we can do in free agency because we definitely need to talk about bullpen fultonavich is not coming back swanson yes luke jackson probably not if we can find something better um camargo yes and it'll be swanson and camargo and then contracts are all going to be young guys so we'll keep them around so let's take a look at free agency now because this is the the big the big spending time robbie erlin maybe we make sean newcomb a starter give him another chance as a starter and then, you know, maybe pick up like Andrew Miller as our extra lefty. We got Blake Trine in here, Hendricks, Colome. We got options for sure. So we're spending big um, for the bullpen in free agency. And then for a starter, I'm thinking maybe we just let, we give Sean Newcomb one year, see how he does. And if anything, we can always try to sign a new starting pitcher. So for season two, we've got major bullpen and starting pitching options let's see what we can do so with this trade i didn't really want to trade away kyle wright and ian anderson um i'm looking at ian anderson's stats though i don't think he's going to be ready for this rebuild same with kyle wright he doesn't look bad i just don't think he's going to be ready for the rebuild um mike fultonavich was a free agent at the start uh, or like basically at the end of free agency like he still hadn't signed a contract with anybody so i thought you know what let's sign him and then trade him because i don't want him anymore um i don't really want dylan floro because i get him a lot but i was looking at other options that the the dodgers have and i kind of want caleb ferguson but we're supposedly not offering them enough but and 
The only other way we could do that is if we trade Tuki Toussaint, who... I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to doing it, but I don't know if I want, you know, like if I'm like, oh yeah, let's totally do it. Maybe, maybe that, and then get like, could we, could we do, ooh, what if we did, what if we did that, that, that's not bad. I, I mean, I like the looks of Tuki Tucson. I think he's got some decent stats. That walks per nine is pretty low. So you know what? No, we're gonna we're gonna go with the original deal I had. And then you know what? Maybe we'll pick up. How's Ben Bias? Bias has been pretty good. Let's just do that. Um, the big thing is Walker Bueller. Let's do that. Let's do that. All right, let's take a look at the team because I like it. I think it looks really good. Bueller is now our ace. We got Soroka right behind him. Really good one-two punch. Max Freed has been pitching pretty well, like it. Keichel and Tehran. So we'll, we'll see how these two do. I think I did Tehran for what, a year, two years last season. And then we have Keichel for another year. I'm probably going to try to look to replace these guys. But for right now, I'm pretty happy with them. We got Newcomb. I wanted him to start. I think he looks really similar to Tuki Toussaint, but we'll see how they go. Uh, maybe even let Newcomb and Tuki take over for this spot, and then we find a new long reliever. Um, I did bring back Jackson and Melanson because free agency was looking a little grim for relief pitchers once you know I picked up Colome and Miller. I like the team. I'm liking what we have here. We have depth, and we have some really good pitching. Even the offensive lineup's looking good. I know Inciarte didn't do well last year as our, our leadoff guy, but you know what? I think we'll be okay. We picked up Mariznik and Galvis as just kind of bench bats. And then we have Joe Panic as kind of just like that extra decent hitter. You know, he hits the ball well. 308, I'll take that for sure. So um, extra bench bat, a lefty off the bench. And uh, I'm liking what we have here. I'm thinking we're set. I even think budget wise, we're still pretty good. Just about, just under a million. And once some of these players leave, um, we got to worry about Freddie Freeman, but with Keiko and Tehran leaving, I think we'll have enough to sign Freeman back to at least another one or two year deal. So that's the team for the second season. Let's we'll see how it plays out. Again, we won the division. So this team is actually playing very well, 93 and 69. And we won the division. Like I've said, we're taking on the Dodgers this time. So again, a pretty tough opponent. League leaders, Freddie Freeman had the most walks. Um, okay. That's not too bad. And then awards, we have a lot of gold gloves again. So we're not we're not doing like too great in like the league leaders or awards, but we're ranked the first team in baseball. Crazy good. You guys can see that. I'm liking it. So let's take a look, see how pitching went. Walker Bueller, phenomenal. Soroka's looking great. Freed, a little shaky, but you know what? I think last year he had like a 3-4 ERA, 3-5 ERA. So I'll take that for sure. Keiko was great again, and then Julio Tehran, probably going to let him go. And then Keiko is just pitching really well. 3-2 ERA, 2-7, and a 3-0-4. His whip has been under 1-3 every single season. Solid. Sean Newcomb. I might just trade him. He's just he's not doing well. And we have Tuki Tucson here who's like, like getting ready to come up and do something you know like he he could take that spot even maybe chad sabaka could be a, a bullpen arm for us because luke jackson's not great melanson obviously is aging pedro bias was really good okay maybe bring him back for a season minter's not doing too great so maybe trade him we had column a do well miller do well and then will smith do well so overall pitching pretty happy with it maybe one or two bad spots but for the most part pretty happy with it bench um i cut Galvis because we didn't have an extra spot for him. We actually were over the 25 man limit. So I just said we don't really need him. Let's just keep moving forward. Inciarte a lot better. Ozzy Albies just not hitting the ball well. Really disappointed by that. Freddie Freeman again doing great. We definitely need to bring him back. Acuna, amazing season. How many extra base hits? 47 doubles, five triples, 21 stolen bases. Gotta love it. Ozuna still doing pretty solid. I think we have him for the next season, the final season. So I'm pretty happy with that. 264, 30 home runs, 96 RBIs. Love it. Grandal. Uh, I mean, he's hitting, you know, 20 plus home runs, 60 ish RBIs. Maybe move him down a little bit in the lineup. I don't know. I feel like he's doing so like he's a he's a good spot in the lineup. I don't know. Austin Riley, pretty similar average on base percentage. Slugging went up. OPS went up, which is good because he doubled his home runs. So that makes sense. Uh, Joe Panic 275 for a bench bat. I'll take that. Uh, yeah, limited appearances, but did very well. 20 stolen bases as well. Really, he's got 
no 20 strikeouts okay i was gonna say 20 stolen bases he's got 29 speed there's no way and then dansby swanson i definitely think he might be our leadoff guy next year just maybe switch it up see how things go so let's hop into this playoff game or series against the dodgers we win the first we lost the second will smith blew the game oh that's that's rough and then facing elimination this time we'll do the quick manage because you know we're heading into the second season we gotta at least make it past the first round of the, the playoffs right good start okay i was gonna say not a good start but we, we got it back let's see how dallas keichel does against kershaw i mean one run two runs not great um but we can definitely get that back we have the offense to do it we just we gotta get it going i know it's kershaw and everything but come on for nothing really all right so keichel is probably done after five just to be safe and then we'll bring in bring in a righty here for this inning <sighs> seriously come on all right we get out of it there i see they have senzel that's a new addition to the squad probably should have taken out melanson there but we'll, we'll keep it going can he get us out of this inning all right melanson's done freddie freeman gets on acuna pops up ozuna grandal we're just we're just not getting the bats going there's a run there's another okay just as i say that we're gonna pinch hit. Um, let's go. Mm, yeah, let's go Camargo. And mm, I went Camargo because he's a switch hitter. So even if they brought someone else in, we would have been set. So let's go. Let's go Kalame in the eighth. One, two, three, perfect. Ozzy, I need you to get a hit here. Perfect. Inciarte brings us within one. First and second, no outs. Bases loaded for Ozuna. That is so demoralizing. That is so demoralizing. Um, all right, so that's a good start. We're gonna pinch hit. We're gonna go to the lefty panic. He gets on. Albi strikes out. Inciarte strikes out. Freddie Freeman, please, I need you to be clutch here. All right, to the off season, we go. My contract is up. They want us back. Solid. <laughs> I guess I forgot to turn off um, GM contracts. They want us back. Whew, I would have hated to have to restart this rebuild. That would have sucked. Anyways, let's keep moving forward. Um, Grant Dayton retires. Not a big deal. We didn't use him throughout the rebuild. So Freddie Freeman, 100% want to bring him back. Um, there's no reason why we shouldn't. It's a big deal, I know, but we got to do it. Make sure he comes back. Boom. Um, Andrew Miller was really solid. If he takes a small deal, he's going to be a bullpen guy. Five mil is a lot, but we'll do it. And then Dallas Keuchel has been really good. But we'll hold off, see if we can get another starting pitcher. Tehran wasn't as great. I'm going to hold off. Pedro Baez was actually pretty good. He's been pretty good. Let's do a one-year deal, maybe like three and a half, and leave it there. And then we'll let the rest walk because I want to see if we can save some money in other places. So Ozuna is coming back. Okay, good. Need his bat for sure. Nothing on the 40 man. Um, arbitration, everybody's going to get it. Contracts, everyone's going to get one. And then let's take a look at our budget. We got some money to work with. Um, take a look at the lineup and everything. The lineup's going to remain the same. I feel like offensively, we're really good. I feel like this is where we kind of need to improve. Maybe let Tuki Toussaint be the five bring in one more starter and then luke jackson i don't want you back minter i want to trade so we're going to need at least two two bullpen arms maybe even three and i mean look at this Ooh, we may need to make a trade um we don't really need a shortstop or a third baseman or a closer you know maybe let's yeah, I don't think we actually. Yeah, I think we'll just we'll we'll pick up a couple pieces uh, for like the offense, maybe like a bench bat or two, and then just focus on the bullpen again. I think we'll be set. All right, we're still in the off season of season three or going into season three. We're gonna trade Ender and Ciarte and Luke Jackson for Michael Walker and Bobby Bradley, just an extra bench bat, um, and then Michael Walker. We need a long reliever because I'm gonna trade away um sean newcomb he's just not good enough anymore all right i know joe panic was a great piece for us but we're gonna trade him minter newcomb for whit merrifield i know we're stealing everything from the royals right now okay last season and we made crazy crazy moves i'm talking insane this team's stacked all right let's let's take a look because this team is 
Whew. All right, so we brought in Corey Kluber for a season. I know he's aging, but for a year, when we need to push for that World Series, we got that guy. We have Max Fried, Tuki Tisan. I'm liking the starting rotation. Obviously, with the addition of Michael Walker, great. We still have Yimi Garcia, Kalame, Baez, all really solid options here. Yimi Garcia, I think I signed in free agency. And then we have Devensky, signed him in free agency. Andrew Miller and Will Smith. Stacked, right? Stacked, right? How could it get any better? Let's take a look. We got Witt. Albies, Acuna, Freddie Freeman, a DH at Jake Lamb, Azuna, Austin Riley. We picked up Didi Gregorius, who's going to be uh, splitting time with Dansby Swanson. And then we have Yasmani Grandal. And then we have these guys on the bench. The team looks good. I actually want to send maybe Bobby Bradley down and send or bring up an outfielder because we have a really good. And I know we just traded for him. So it's like, why would you trade for Bobby Bradley if you're not going to use him? I know, but we have Drew Waters and Christian Pache. And I'm going to bring up Drew Waters because he looks really good. And we need a platoon outfielder. And he looks solid. We could have probably even used him this season. I mean, look at those stats. Fielding 82, 76 arm strength, 65 speed. And hitting stats look really good. You know, Swanson. Maybe we just let Swanson start. And then have um, DD be the, ben the bench bat. I'm thinking that might be the move. I'm liking what we have. This team is stacked. This team is really good. I mean, offensively, we're set. Pitching-wise, I think we're set. There's not really anybody in the free agency that I like. am thinking we need to add them to the squad. We're first in a lot. Contact, pitching, sixth in power. Defense is third. Speed is sixth. We're first overall. I'm liking the team. Let's see how season three plays out. All right, so as you can see, the season went very very well 106 and 56 won the division taking on the winner of the wild card and i mean with this team i would expect us to win at least 100 games the team was just too good we had the league leaders for war for acuna and that's it all right cool and then awards we had a bunch of gold gloves interesting but nothing else huh and then when we take a look at the team i mean we've actually moved up in some categories i think speed and power have gone up as well um, I think defense went down or maybe stayed the same. But for the most part, wait, wait, wait. Did I just see Julio Tehran had the most wins? Huh. He did. 19 and Fultonavich. Both of them just pitched out of their mind after we trade them away or let them go. Okay, that makes perfect sense, right? All right, so Bueller 316 with a 1.2 whip, pretty good. 35 with a 1.19 whip, solid. So we got two 98 pitchers, really good. Corey Kluber was very solid for the one year that we brought him in. Max Fried was good. Tuki Toussaint, not so much, but it happens. Michael Walker, you know, as a five starter, I'm not going to freak out. Michael Walker was very good in this long relief role. Yimmy was good. Kalame, Baez, very good. And then we got Devensky. Miller was not good. Yikes. And then Will Smith was iffy as well. Huh. Not the best. But you know what? I'm still pretty happy with the way things went. So I can't complain. Pitching, probably the best pitching staff we've ever had. So Diga Gorius did not do too well. Obviously, you know, he didn't have many appearances. But still, just not, not great. Drew Waters looks like a beast. Holy cow. Limited appearances, but still very good. And then you can see the rest of the team there. Witt was very good in this leadoff spot. 286, 17 home runs, 48 doubles, 42 stolen bases. And he didn't lead the league. Interesting. Ozzy Albies, it's just been kind of getting worse. Which is unfortunate. Um, Acuna was very good. Home runs, doubles, stolen bases, high average, high RBIs. OPS has been a thousand plus every single year. Freddie Freeman was very good as well. 100 plus RBIs last two seasons, 100 plus walks in the last two seasons, 30 plus home runs. Love to see it. Dansby Swanson did very well. 274, 34 doubles, 24 stolen or 24 home runs, nine stolen bases only though. Ozuna, almost 40 home runs, 108 RBIs. So we have crazy amount of RBI production or run production, I should just say. Love it. Austin Riley has his breakout season, 36 home runs, 119 RBIs, 35 doubles, high strikeouts, but you know, it's not terrible. 16 stolen bases and a 282 average. Jake Lamb as a bench bat was pretty solid as well. Kind of the DH, can't complain. And then Yasmani Grandal has just been kind of, he's been consistent around 250, <clears throat> around 250 with 20 home runs. Gotta love it. But this team, 
might be the best team I've ever put together in a rebuild. Scary good. Almost, what, 90 in every spot. And the only one we don't is the DH. Everybody is one or two ratings off the starting lineup, which is crazy. And then when you look at the starting rotation, we have one pitcher who's not a 90. And then the bullpen, <clears throat> everybody's within one rating or two ratings except for Baez and Miller. That's nuts. Crazy good. And to make things better, we're going to get knocked out by the Phillies here. <clears throat> we actually didn't. We're going to take on the Dodgers. And then we're going to do this. We're going to take Tuki Toussaint out. <clears throat> and I'm going to drink some water on camera for once because I'm dying apparently and I'm losing my voice. So let's keep moving forward. Fultonavich, how how fitting. And we win even better. We lost the second, lost the third, and we're facing elimination against the Dodgers who knocked us out of the playoffs last year. So can we get by them? Can we win at Dodger Stadium? Kenta Maeda versus Walker Bueller. Can we keep ourselves going? That's not a great start. First and second, no outs, and we couldn't take advantage of it. Oh, that sucks. Okay, there's two runs thanks to Acuna. I'll take that. Two runs is good. Um, let's take a look at the Dodgers lineup next time they're up. So, Senzel's new. Drury is new. But everything else is kind of the same. Kiebert Ruiz has come up through the system. Um, only allowed one run there, which I guess is kind of a win, considering the head base is loaded, but still not the best. And it's a tie ball game. <sighs> All right, first and second, no outs. I want Walker Bueller to keep going, and he delivers. He delivers, gives us the lead. That's, that's huge. All right, first and third, no or two outs. Dansby Swanson, two-run double. It's looking solid right now. I think... I'm going to let Walker Buehler go one more, I think. We'll see. Double play and a double. We're going to take him out. We're going to go to a lefty. Andrew Miller gets us out of it. Perfect. All right, cool. Austin Riley adds on another run. It's a four-run game. <clears throat> I let Andrew Miller go. I know I shouldn't have, but um, we're looking good. I'm going to let him pitch, and that's the game. Perfect. <clears throat> Man, there's something stuck. Anyway, so Buehler just pitched, so we got to change that. So let's just move him like right here just to be safe and let's keep going. So we win. It's three to three. I should have played that one because that was an elimination game. And this is it. Game seven to go to the World Series to take on either the Athletics or the Indians. Corey Kluber on the mound. Really, we're home at SunTrust Park. I oh, We could go Tookie. Let's go Corey Kluber. Let's do it. Let's see how we can do. Can we win the game? We got to score early. It's Dustin May. There we go. Acuna gives us a, er, the early lead. And uh, can we get another? We can't. Mm. Tie ball game thanks to Nick Senzel. Double. Second and third. One out. Base is loaded for Austin Riley. He does it again. I'm pretty sure he was the one that brought in the run the first time. Uh, no, that was Acuna with the home run. And Acuna does it again. He's three for three. That's nuts. So far, so good. Now I'm starting to think it was Riley that hit the home run. Now I'm getting all confused on who's hitting what. Two run game now. We're going to take out Kluber. We're going to go to the... It's just one. Let's go Kalame. He gets us the out. And then let's see if we can get one more inning out of Kalame. <clears throat> Freddie Freeman gives us another run. And then the double, the double play ends the inning. So 6-4. Kalame allows a run, but he's done now. Can we get him up to the plate would be huge. We don't. So I'm going to be greedy and I'm going to let him go another inning. Or do I? Yes. Perfect. All right. Let's pinch hit now. I got a righty on the mound. Let's go to, let's go Didi. Gets out, of course. And then a triple. Can Okunia bring him in? He doesn't. All right. Ninth inning. Pitching change. Will Smith time. And... Come on, you got to get us out of this. Double play ends the game. We're going to the World Series and we're taking on the Indians. Okay, so let's get the starting lineup situated. So we want Bueller there, Freed there, Kluber here. Actually, no, we want like this. Perfect. Just like that. Bueller should be pitching today. Here we go. Game one, we lose four to three, one to nothing. Really? Are we going to get swept? We're gonna get swept by the Indians unless we do a three, a reverse work, a sweep, a reverse sweep. That's the word. All right, here we go. 
So far, pretty quiet. They got Piscotti, Framil Reyes, Lindor, Jose Ramirez, Mercado, Jeanette, Cam Gallagher, and Naquin goes deep lefty lefty. So we're down three. And um, it's not looking great. Unless we get something out of this inning, which we didn't. <sighs> Max Freed, you're you're hurting me. You're hurting me. There we go. That was huge. We needed that. And then can we get one more in? Come on, Jake Lamb. He goes to the lefty. Do we go to the righty? Let's go Drew Waters. Perfect. That was huge. At least we're within one now. Max Freed allows another base runner, but he's going to be done now. I'm going to take him out after this inning. Acuna ties the ball game. As I say, I was going to take him out. What do I do? I leave him in. Let's go to Andrew Miller. He doesn't do the job. We're going to go column A. He allows a run. Oh, my God. Really? That's a good start. Can we get him in, though? We can't. And then column A gets us to the ninth. We're down one. Elimination. Basically, this is our last inning of the season. First and second, no outs. Double play. And Acuna gets out. So that's the season. Uh, playoff MVP, Freddie Freeman. World Series MVP, Tyler Naquin. Freddie Freeman had himself a postseason for sure. And we just couldn't couldn't bring it home. Max Fried struggled a bit. Most, mostly pretty happy with the starting rotation. Did very well. And then looking at the bullpen. I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. And I mean, let's take a look. Let's take a look how we how we lost games. I mean, we were within. Pitching was good. Kept them pretty low on the runs. For the most part, it was what? We take we took on the Phillies. So it was like four runs or less. I think the most we allowed was four, five runs. Yeah, it looking like four runs. Five runs. And that was the last game. Every other game was like three to one, three to two. Man. It's just, we just couldn't get it done. You know, the games that we needed the runs, we just couldn't get it done. And the, like, Ozzy Albies was just terrible this rebuild. Holy cow. Marcelo Zuna wasn't that great in the postseason. So, unfortunate. That's just the way things go sometimes. I still think this might be the best team we've ever assembled. And the offseason Braves rebuild is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit the like button down below. It's unfortunate we couldn't get that World Series. We got swept by the indians and man that that is disappointing to see but it happens and that's just, that's just the way it is so if you enjoyed today's video make sure you hit the thumbs up down below subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content and as always in the comment section let me know future rebuilds you would like to see other than that guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video on screen now is going to be two videos the last video that i uploaded and also a video that youtube recommends to you guys so go check them out if you haven't already and i'll catch you all in the next one peace